वीडियो शुरू होने से पहले मैं एक चीज़ बता देना चाहूँगा कि ये वीडियो बनाने के लिए मुझे एक घंटा और चालीस मिनट लगा था लेकिन कार्ड झाट के इसको मैं एक घंटा और पच्चीस मिनट किया लेकिन एडिट करने में ग्यारह घंटे लग गए मेरे को सो प्लीज़ स्किप करने से पहले लाइक कर दीजिएगा वीडियो को हे यू प्रो कीपर लाइफ इज़ ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स एवरी डे एवरी मिनट एवरी सेकेंड नहीं ये पॉसिबल नहीं है कि हम लोग एवरी सेकेंड सीखें लेकिन हर दिन हम लोग सीख सकते हैं ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन में ये जब कोरोना नहीं आया था उससे बस एक दो महीने पहले से ही तो मैं ये नोटबुक में मैं बहुत सारा कोड सब और बहुत सारा मतलब लर्निंग थिंग्स सब साइकोलॉजिकल या फिर स्पिरिचुअल वो नोट सब में लिखा हुआ था तो यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है जैसे कि देख सकते टीचर ऑफ दी प्रो माइंड मतलब <laughs> ये सब चीज़ सब में मैं बहुत बिलीव करता हूँ अभी भी मतलब तो इसलिए मैं चाहता हूँ कि ये सब चीज़ एटलीस्ट मेरा जो सबकॉन्शियस माइंड में स्टाब्लिश होकर रहे और यही सब मेरे को गाइड करे तो ये नोटबुक में पूरा बहुत लिखा हूँ बहुत ही लिखा हूँ इवन हर पेज में पूरा कहीं नहीं छोड़ा हूँ इवन यहाँ पे भी लिख दिया हूँ मैं <laughs> इतना लिखने का जो होता है तो ये नोटबुक को आज के वीडियो में मैं पूरा रीडिंग करने वाला हूँ जो कि मुझे नहीं पता कितना टाइम लगेगा लेकिन मैं जब तक ये ख़त्म नहीं करूँगा तब तक मैं उठूँगा नहीं बहुत गर्मी हो रही है तो मैं रखा हूँ ये पेपर को जो मुझे थोड़ा बहुत हवा देगा और पंखा चला नहीं सकते क्योंकि पंखा चलाऊँगा तो आवाज़ अच्छे से नहीं आएगा सो so, चलो बिना किसी देरी करते हुए रीडिंग करते हैं अगर कहीं मेरा प्रोनाउंसिएशन समझ ना आए या फिर मिस्टेक हो जाए तो एडवांस में अपोलॉजी एम सॉरी मैनेज कर लीजिएगा प्लीज लेट्स और हाँ मैं बताना भूल जा रहा था कि ये मैं ऑल टोटल ये पूरा का पूरा इंग्लिश में है तो आप वीडियो स्किप करना चाहते हो तो स्किप कर लो लेकिन प्लीज लाइक कर दीजिए क्योंकि बहुत एफर्ट लगने वाला है इसमें और गर्मी बहुत है सो लेट्स बिगिन Staying positive in a negative world is the new gangster. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. Following your highest joy every moment is the direct path to your life's highest potential. Who that exist in the probable future is already connected to the you in this now in a dimension beyond space of time. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back. If you are going to get anywhere in life, you have to read a lot of books. Meditation is a death, death of all that you are now. Of course there will be a resurrection, but that will be a totally new press original being which you are not even aware is hidden in you may you get a sign that shows you that you are on the right path and that things you are following and moving in your favor may the sign be evident clear and direct awakening is not changing who you are but discarding who you are not Before you argue with someone ask yourself is that person even mentally mature enough to grasp the concept of different perspectives because if not there is absolutely no point the greatest trick ever played was to have us search externally for our savior when we are here to save ourselves Striving for excellence motivates you. Striving for perfection is demoralizing. I understood myself only after I destroyed myself and only in the process of fixing myself I know who I really was. Don't use your energy to worry. Use your energy to believe. Being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect. It means you have decided to look beyond the imperfection. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. Be the reason someone believes in good people. I don't think I am better than anyone. I just don't want certain energies around me. 
when i was a child i was afraid of ghosts as i grew up i realized people are more scary don't be such a rush to figure everything out embrace the unknown and let your life surprise you don't wish it were easier wish you were better you are an electromagnetic being emitting a frequency only those things that are on the same frequency as the one you are emitting can come into your experience every single person event and circumstances in your day is telling you what frequency you are on magical ability is the ability to consciously use the unconscious do not speak bad of yourself for the warrior within hears your words and is lessened by them i don't always incarnate on earth but when i do i usually forget that i am psychedelic fractal of infinite consciousness the pineal gland is structured similarly to an eye acting as a portal between the physical and spiritual worlds develop this gland through candle gazing visualization and clean eating one of the best lesson you can learn in life is to master how to remain calm you make your life hard by always being in your head life is simple get out of your head and get into the moment the idea of effort is a bit weird when you meditate holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die dreams are very often anticipation of future alteration of consciousness perhaps when you thought you weren't good enough the truth was you were overqualified when you are no longer friends with someone respect the secrets they shared with you it's called integrity many people are actually afraid to heal because their entire identity is centered around trauma they have experienced they have no idea who they are outside of trauma and that unknown can be terrifying empathy is centered at the heart the heart beat produces the human body's largest electromagnetic field empathy allows our heart to feel the electromagnetic pulse of others it's not strength it's perception that makes you stronger if you change how you see it you will change how you feel about it when you are at peace you embrace the eternity your spirit is coming alive within you and you are moving more towards purpose impact inner peace self love and self awareness you are remembering your greatness and what has always been with you things are getting better even in the midst of uncertainty it's all aligning you live you learn and you level up your diet is not only what you eat it is what you watch what you listen to what you read the people you hang around be mindful of things you put into your body emotionally spiritually and physically meditation isn't about getting rid of your thoughts it's about learning how to be at ease with them i admit it i am not like others and that's not just okay it's beautiful only those person who have lived really lived are ready welcoming respective thankful to death then death is not the enemy then death becomes the fulfillment when you are finally ready to heal and create the biggest positive shift of your life you will begin to see everyone as your teacher especially those that trigger you there's so much of my past self that i don't resonate with at all anymore but i love her just the same she was growing she was doing her best she fought hard to get me here when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change old keys can't unlock new door 
आई एम ग्राउंडेड माई स्पिरिट इज ग्राउंडेड डीप इन द अर्थ आई एम काम स्ट्रोंग सेंटर्ड एंड पीसफुल आई एम एबल टू लेट गो ऑफ फियर एंड ट्रस्ट दैट आई एम इटरनली सेफ आई एम वर्दी ऑफ ऑल थिंग्स यू अट्रैक्ट इन टू योर लाइफ ए रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ वट यू थिंक बट ऑल्सो अट्रैक्ट इन टू योर लाइफ वट यू जज इफ यू थिंक बी योर ऑलसम ऑथेंटिक सेल्फ एंड इफ एनी वन हैज एनी थिंग नेगेटिव टू से अबाउट यू जस्ट रिमेंबर इट इज़ ए रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ देयर ओन इनसिक्योरिटीज बी हैप्पी बी यूनिक सेल्फ कंट्रोल इज स्ट्रेंथ कामनेस इज मास्टरी You have to get to a point where your mood doesn't shift based on the insignificant action of someone else. Don't allow others to control the direction of your life. Don't allow your emotions to overpower your intelligence. As you evolve, you will make a lot of people uncomfortable. Evolve anyway. The seeker understands the profound effect. spiritual practice have on their life the enlightened understood that life itself is the spiritual practice part of your mission on earth is to master your thoughts your vibration your frequency so that you can move through all of life with ease i am an empath watching certain types of movie can become unbearable the energy of tv and radio can be maddening i know you're feeling better than you do i know when you lie i crave solitude i need order or i can't think straight complete stranger tell me their life story because i am a healer they laugh at me because i am different i laugh at them because they are all the same I alone cannot change society for the better but I can radically transform my own consciousness over tuning the condition that limits my potential we can all do this one by one over time we can change ourselves to the degree that society changes from the inside out giving birth to a new way of being manifesting our birth right of living in a peaceful and abundant world the funny thing is when you start feeling happy alone that's when everyone decides to be with you some people will talk to you in their free time and some people will free their time to talk to you learn the difference my head sometimes you have to suffer in life not because you were bad but because you didn't realize where and when to stop being good when you are feeling down just take a moment and remember who the fuck you are nobody can play you you are great you are strong you are resilient you are the shit energy is my first language so you might as well be honest with me because your energy will tell me everything your words attempt to hide i am learning to view them with different perspective i either give too many fucks about something or i don't give any fucks i can't seem to find a middle ground for moderate fuck distribution it takes nothing away from a human to be kind to animal knowing other is intelligence knowing yourself is true wisdom mastering others is strength mastering yourself is true power when you are ignored by a person whose attention means the most to you the reaction in your brain will be similar to physical pain to attract better you have to become better you can't do the same things and expect change transform your mindset upgrade your habits i don't run from my demons i learn their names when you start seeing your worth you will find it harder to stay around people who don't the one that truly loves you will set you free the best kind of relationship is the one where you both realize you are on the same team you practice reciprocity and learn to compromise with each other 
इट्स वेन यू बोथ हेल्प ईच अदर ग्रो एंड बिकम द बेस्ट यू कैन बी टूगेदर फीलिंग लॉनली इज ए डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस देन जस्ट बींग अलोन थिंक बिग और नॉट थिंक स्मॉल थिंक मीडियम इट्स योर लाइफ डू वट मेक्स यू हैप्पी बी अलोन दैट इज द सीक्रेट ऑफ इन्वेंशन बी अलोन दैट इज वेन आइडियाज आर बोर्न मैन हु आर डूइंग इनर हीलिंग वर्क इज द न्यू सेक्सी फोकस ऑन द पावरफुल यूफोरिक मैजिकल सिंक्रॉनिस्टिक ब्यूटिफुल पार्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ एंड द यूनिवर्स विल कीप गिविंग दैम टू यू आयरोनिकली इनफ वेन यू मेक पीस विद द फैक्ट दैट द पर्पज ऑफ लाइफ इज नॉट हैप्पीनेस बट रैदर एक्सपीरियंस एंड ग्रोथ हैप्पीनेस comes as a natural by product when you are not seeking it as the objective it will find its way to you when you realize that you are an energy living in a body you start to look at things differently when you realize the universal nature of the most fundamentally important geometry in the universe the circle you will join the rest of the universe on a journey to self discovery True magic power consists in true faith but true faith rests in spiritual knowledge and without that kind of knowledge there can be no faith Don't speak negatively about yourself even as a joke your body doesn't know the difference Words are energy and cast spells that's why it's called spelling Great minds discuss ideas average minds discuss events small minds discuss people death is a stripping away of all that is not you the secret of life is to die before you die and find that there is no death each time you make a new choice that is in alignment with your future you are priming your brain to install the neurological hardware to actually think act and feel like the person you want to be in your future a grateful mind is a great mind which eventually attracts to itself great things people cry not because they are weak it's because they have been strong for too long when we experience a strong emotion but don't know how to express it this energy becomes trapped in our body which makes us a vibrational match to people and situation that reinforce the original feelings forgive yourself for the things you said and did when you did not know how to love yourself An old alchemist gave the following consolation to one of his disciples no matter how isolated you are and how lonely you feel if you do your work truly and conscientiously unknown friends will come and seek you the people who trigger us to feel negative emotion are messengers they are messengers for the unhealed parts of our being in science we call it energy in religion we call it spirit in the street we call it vibes and all i am saying is trust it loneliness is dangerous it's addicting once you see how peaceful it is you don't want to deal with people the mark of true self mastery is to see feel and behave positively even if the external reality appears to be negative decide how you are going to feel simply because that is what you prefer irregardless of what's going on around you resisting change is what creates energy blockages accept what is showing up for your right now so you can flow with it I saw absoluteness when I shredded the ego and entered the realm of self-realization. 
I realize all the things from the past year that has changed any negative attachment. I prepare and welcome new changes, new lessons and new adventures. I welcome new opportunities to grow emotionally, mentally and spiritually. When the universe is throwing at you so many synchronicities, you are not sure if you are going crazy or becoming more enlightenment or becoming more enlightened. Society is collapsing and people are starting to recognize that the reason they feel like they are mentally ill is that they are living in a system that's not designed to suit the human spirit. The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain and obvious and so simple and yet everybody rushes around in a great panic as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. Chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. In space there are countless constellations, suns and planets. We see only the sun because they gave light. The planets remain invisible for they are small and dark. There are also numberless earths circling around their suns. Personal empowerment means deconditioning yourself from that from the value and the programs of the society and putting your own values and program in place. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. Unpleasant sensation can happen. Maybe you have gotten itch or some anxiety or even some discomfort rather than running away from them. Allow them to arise and be curious instead. They will help you get know your mind a little better. Be brave enough to fail at something new. The day I changed was the day I quit trying to fit into a world that never really fit me. There's nothing wrong with thinking. It's overthinking and getting caught up in the storyline of the mind that caused the problem. To protect your energy, it's okay to not answer a call. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to want to be alone. It's okay to take a day off. It's okay to do nothing. It's okay to speak up. It's okay to let go. If you see someone being interrupted in a conversation, acknowledge them. Don't let them be pushed to the side. If you are see someone logging behind, if you see someone lagging behind, walk beside them. If someone is being ignored, include them. Always remind people of their work. A small gesture can mean a lot. Spiritual progress is like a detoxification. When you can't control what's happening, challenge yourself to control the way you respond to what's happening. That's where your power is. This is my path. I walk it for the sanity of my soul. If it doesn't suit you, just go. I am not afraid to walk alone. I believe depression is legitimate, but I also believe that if you don't exercise, eat nutrition food, get sunlight, get enough sleep, consume positive material, surround yourself with support, then you aren't giving yourself a fighting chance. The great spiritual geniuses, whether it was Moses, Buddha, Plato, Socrates, Jesus or Emerson, they all have taught men to look within himself to find God. Stop thinking in terms of limitation on and start thinking in terms of possibilities. What we can imagine, we can make real. Elevate your thinking and you will levitate to greater levels. Don't associate yourself with toxic people. It's better to be alone and love yourself than surrounded by people that makes you hate yourself. Existence is a mystery and one should accept it as a mystery and not pretend to have any explanation. Spend time 
contemplating who you want to be the more process of contemplating who you want to be begins to change your brain sometimes you just need a break in a beautiful place alone to figure everything out we been on a roller coaster ride of emotions and experiences symptoms are symptoms are still headaches nausea and pain in the body but things are lightening up as we move closer to the completion of this phase god is not something outside of us if there is one creator who created everything then a creator is everything and everything is the creator the creator created us so we are the creator may all the negative energy trying to bring you down come to an end may the dark thoughts the overthinking and the doubt exist your mind right now may clarity replace confusion may hope may hope replace fear may blessing and success fill your life may the light of your spirit shine so bright that nothing can dim your glow shine on be so completely yourself that everyone else feels safe to be themselves too you can fuck anything up that is meant for you so stop being so scared what will happen trust your intuition and let your heart and soul guide you on this journey i promise you you can't mess anything up that is meant for you work life social life it doesn't matter where we are or what we are doing it's all one life love is triumph of imagination over intelligence everything that you are going through is preparing you for what you asked for kids should be allowed to break stuff more often that's a consequences of explore exploration is what you do when you don't know what you are doing what you do before sleep is crucial to how the next day will go every night call your energy back and release the day behind you realign with your highest self the most dangerous habit in the world today aren't drug habit they are ideological habits an examined way of thinking about reality expect big things from the universe when you are honest with yourself in a big way until then you are only giving the universe mixed signal as we heal ourselves we become healers of other and in so doing we heal the planet there is no work more sacred than this inner power is knowing that the unknown is already magnificent and that this belief is unbreakable it's better to enjoy life committing mistakes and learn rather than playing it safe your entire life having learned nothing at all the future is a concept it doesn't exist there is no such thing as tomorrow there never will be because time is always now that's one of the things we discover when we stop talking to ourselves and stop thinking we find there is only present only an eternal now everything is temporary emotion thoughts people and scenery do, do not become attached just flow with it there is no fire like passion there is no spark like hatred there is no snore like folly there is no torrent like greed don't judge each day by the harvest you reap but by the seeds that that you plant when you are about to grow don't be surprised if a storm pours down on you every plant grow after them this is part of the process stay positive what you are asking for is coming When you are in love you can't fall asleep because reality is better than your dreams. People often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Our awareness allows us to embrace life free from distraction at ease with our thoughts. 
when feelings become the means of thinking or if we cannot think greater than how we feel we can never change to change is to think greater than how we feel to change is to act greater than the familiar feeling of the memorized self the moment you change your perception is the moment you re circuit the chemistry of your body those who are able to see beyond the shadow and lies of their culture will never be understood let alone believed by the masses if you let cloudy water settle it will become clear if you want let your upset mind settle your course will also become clear dimensions are not places or location they are levels of consciousness that vibrates at a certain rate each dimension vibrates at a higher rate than the one below in each higher dimension there exists a clearer wider perspective of reality a greater level of knowing we experience more freedom greater power and more opportunity to create reality if you cannot find a group whose consciousness matches your own be the source of one others of like consciousness will be drowned to you if the problem today is people don't cherish good people they try to use them every next level of your life will demand a different version of you that's a sacred energy guiding you that's why lately you have been distancing yourself from who and what no longer serves you and or lowers your vibration instead you have new begun attracting and manifesting who and what does it serve you elevate you nourish you and inspire you to vibrate higher daily the the japanese say you have three faces the first face you show to the world second face you show to your close friend your family third face you never show anyone it is the truest reflection of who you are today in science we learn that you can never gain cold you can only have an absence of heat and it made me think that maybe hatred doesn't exist and there's only an absence of love going through a spiritual awakening can be lonely and isolating no one around you can understand and relate to what you are feeling the universe is not outside of you look inside yourself everything that you want you already are the isolated family member is usually the one who become awake words have the power to both destroy and heal when words are both true and kind they can change our world let go stop tying let's go let go let go stop trying to force things that aren't meant to be stop chasing people and things that are not meant for you we need to learn to let go and allow life to be what it is truly meant to be nothing needs to be forced what is meant to happen will happen and it will happen naturally for most people their spiritual teacher is their suffering because eventually the suffering brings about awakening suffering is not holding you you are holding suffering to understand the heart and mind of a person look not at what he has already achieved but at what he aspires to it's amazing how every time you open your mouth you manage to prove you are an idiot when it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached don't adjust the goals adjust the action of steps i am no longer available for things that make me feel like shit i am not looking to escape my darkness i am learning to love myself here there's a strength and beauty in vulnerability that you don't see when you are putting on a facade of cold heartedness balance is
कि यू कैन बी काइंड एंड स्टिल हैव बाउंड्रीज आई आर हियर टू बी हु पीपल वॉन्ट आई एम टू बी आई एम हियर टू बी हु आई वॉन्ट टू बी हु एवर फाइट्स मॉन्स्टर शुड सी टू इट दैट इन द प्रोसेस ही डज नॉट बिकम ए मॉन्स्टर ए मैन मस्ट बी बिग इनफ टू एडमिट हिज मिस्टेक स्मार्ट इनफ टू प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम देम एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ टू करेक्ट देम वेजिटा मैजिक हज नेवर डिजअपियर फ्रॉम द अर्थ द पीपल ऑफ अर्थ जस्ट फॉगॉट वट मैजिक इज द एंटायर अर्थ होल्ड सच मैजिक दैट इफ वी रियली स्पेंड टाइम री लर्निंग द वे ऑफ आवर एंसेस्टर वी वुड नो दैट वी आर वन इन द सेम I like being alone I have control over my own shit therefore in order to win me over your presence has to be feel better than my solitude you are not competing with another person you are competing with my comfort zones some people travel to other dimension in their astral bodies when they meditate Don't worry about anything at all. You are not here by accident. This form is just a costume for a while, but the one who is behind the costume, this one is eternal. You must know this. If you know this and trust this, you don't have to worry about anything. Hold on to every genuine person you find. This generation has people driven by ego, money and status. as a result good souls are ruined daily keep your head up and being conscious of the energy you give out and connect with stop reconnecting with toxic people from your past because you are feeling lonely today is the day you accept the truth and quit wasting time on the wrong people some people don't realize how hard you are riding for them until you park the internet is merely a stepping stone for the telepathic reality which which permit which permits the entire multidimensional spectrum of this interconnected multiverse take a shower wash up the day drink a glass of water makes the room dark lie down and close your eyes notice your heart still beating still fighting you made it after all you made it another day and you can make it one more you are doing just fine the connection of a beautiful soul with yours is the sacred beginning of a divine relationship you are not supposed to go out and find love love will find you when you are ready some are slaves of ambition or money but others are interested in understanding life itself these give themselves the name of philosophers and they value the contemplation and discovery of nature beyond all other pursuits no matter how bad things go you are still way ahead of everyone who isn't even trying never give up on what makes you smile all knowledge comes from the stars the universal mind men do not invent or create ideas the idea exist and men are able to grasp them only those people who are capable of being alone are capable of love of sharing of going into the deepest core of other person without possessing the other without reducing the other to a thing and without becoming addicted to the others they allow the other absolute freedom because they know that if the other lives they will be as happy as they are now their happiness cannot be taken by the other because it is not given by the other if you understand how frequently people cop by projecting you would learn to take absolutely nothing personally 
when you heal trauma you heal the nervous system when you heal the nervous system you heal the emotional body when you heal the emotional body you heal the psychic empathic body when you heal psychic body you will vibration once the vibration is healed reality is change we must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey emotionally processing your feeling is tiring as fuck you are literally allowing your emotions to move through you for release if you find yourself feeling extra tired just know emotional healing takes up energy give yourself the rest you need you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be we can only trust people who own all parts of themselves so start with yourself and trust yourself once you take the spiritual world ser- seriously you will start to see a sign in everything everyone and every situation finding yourself is not really how it works you aren't a 10 dollar bill in last winter's coat pocket you are also not lost your true self is right there buried under cultured conditioning other people's opinion and inaccurate conclusion you drew as a child and adult that become your beliefs about who you are finding yourself is actually returning to yourself and unlearning and excavation and remembering who you were before the world got its hands on you people are not addicted to alcohol or drugs they are addicted to escaping reality when you start taking care of yourself you start feeling better you start looking better and you start to attract better it all starts within you give up on making me give up people who understand sarcasm are good mind readers because sarcasm is a sort of true lie you have to find the real meaning behind words that aren't meant literally and differentiate between someone's false emotions and what they are really thinking if you can easily detect a well hidden sarcastic comment you likely have great social intuition every thought every action creates vibration through this infinite field of consciousness be mindful of your thoughts and emotion for their effects are far more potent than you realize you cannot choose spiritual awakening inner healing or freedom for another person everyone evolves at their own individual pace some are slow learners and require more of life's wake up calls than others in order to shake them out of unconscious living the only people who see the whole picture are the ones who step outside the frame your agreement with reality defines your life anything you accept fully will take you into peace this is the miracle of surrender just like a wise old owl your spirit gains wisdom by sitting listening and observing some days it's easier other days it's harder be it easy or hard the only way to get there is to start the faith isn't straight line it's a spiral you continually come back to things you thought you understood and see deeper truths through the process of reincarnation we have all lived on other planets and in other dimension and we will continue to do so after our lessons on earth have been com- completed earth is a merely a school one of many in our long education we all have the gifts to connect to the other side the strength of accuracy of your connection 
depends on your consistency to take the time and effort to develop these skills people will cost people will question all the good things they hear about you but believe all the bad without a second thought never ask who is my real friend ask am i a real friend to somebody that is the right question always be concerned even egg is broken by outside force life ends if a broken by inside force life begins great things always begin from inside you attract into your life a reflection a reflection of what you think but also attract into your life what you judge if you think people are dishonest you attract dishonest people if you are focused on a sickness or disease you attract more if you focus on poverty or lack you gain nothing more than empty bank account everything you hold in your conscious thought becomes your cage and your reality see abundance in your life and embrace good emotionally healthy people you attract what you are strongly feeling and thinking and this is why a grateful heart is magnet of miracles a lot people become unattractive once you find out how they think my personality confuses people i enjoy being alone a lot but i am very outgoing and social my environment dictates how i behave sometimes i am loud sometimes i am quiet i read the energy and adjust there are times when i want to turn up and then there are moments where i want to read a good book or process thoughts alone love finds you when you love yourself support finds you when you support yourself gratitude finds you when you appreciate yourself the answer is you deep and painful emotions are rising feeling of failure and inadequacy are surfacing in the collective we are going through a global light code activation we are strong and we can do this together our story is unique and so different and not worthy of comparison worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles it takes away today's peace when two givers indulge in a connection it's a magic it's alchemy i water you you water me we never drain each other we just grow karma comes after everyone eventually you can't get away with screwing people over your whole life i don't care who you are what goes around comes around that's how it works sooner or later the universe will serve you the revenge that you deserve the trick is that as long as you know who you are and what makes you happy it doesn't matter how others see you now we don't need more sleep it our soul that are tired not our bodies we need nature we need magic we need adventure we need freedom we need truth we need stillness we don't need more sleep we need to wake up and live some thoughts always lead to the same choice same choices lead to the same behavior and the same behaviors lead to the same experience and the same experience produces the same emotions and these emotions drive the very same thoughts meditation is the dissolution of thoughts in eternal awareness or pure consciousness without objectification knowing without thinking merging finitude in infinity in infinity i don't like the terms good person or bad person because it's impossible to be entirely good to everyone or entirely bad to everyone to some you are a good person while to others you are a bad person you are all gods if you only knew it talking to myself the answer come from within not out there we 
fucking talked about this nothing is accidental the universe is too intelligent for that type of creation somebody can decide whether you are happy or unhappy is this not slavery what happiness within you somebody else determines this is the wrong this is the worst form of slavery pain and pleasure happen within you joy and misery happen within you the events around you may not be determined by you but how you experience life on this planet is is determined by you overthinking is the biggest waste of human energy to trust yourself make a decision and gain more experience there is no such thing as perfect you cannot think your way into perfection just take action the more you research the crazier you sound to ignorant people jim carrey said that depression is your avatar telling you it is tired of being the character you are trying to play that shit is real god is conscious not a creator god is a source of creation itself it not he or she it is not independent of you it is the totality of everything so when i call myself god i am not talking about my personal self i am talking about the expression of the god self that rests inside of me the verb the energy not the noun once you think a god is a noun person place or thing you separate yourself from it and immediately become a limited being that's what separates the believers from the knowers givers have to learn to set limits because takers don't have any think big there are unseen forces ready to support your dreams you can rise up from anything you can completely recreate yourself nothing is permanent you are not stuck you have choices you can think new thoughts you can learn something new you can create new habits all that matter is that you decide today and never look back psychic impact you are very sensitive to people's emotion and the energy around you you are also very good at reading people and seeing what's going to happen you have psychic abilities and your empathy makes it stronger you sense or feel spirits and may, may even be able to heal others or affect the mood of energy around you you can also be very vulnerable to such energy no you are not alone find your negative imprint and you will find your core intention for this life your purpose is not what you do to bring home a paycheck your purpose is what you were put on earth to do with such intensity and passion that it becomes a spiritual calling remind yourself every single day of who you want to be and you will cause your brain to fire in new sequence in new patterns in new combination and whenever you make your brain work differently you are changing your mind it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it the strongest hearts have been broken the most yes it's true to brain perspective ha 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 it's probably a joke in hell universe inside me inside in in hell universe inside my brain and you won't understand that every intention conspired theory every gate of love is opened for you now i understand this but no one doesn't they think i am none that makes me sick actually i'm always just want to run from this all that will just happen for some phenomenon situation now i am believe that i have my own universe to 
that was vast too. Vast to cells compared with everyone else but can't find it that much differently. Yeah, they obviously they're unique and I appreciate that. Happy Jack. Good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly while bad people will find a way around the law. The degree is to the degree to which your consciousness expands is the degree to which you understand yourself and the universe. Knowing the truth is not based on knowledge but on being it. You cannot see your reflection in boiling water. Similarly, you cannot see the truth in a state of anger. When the water's calm, clarity comes. You are unhappy because you are not in alignment with who you are, not because of what anyone else is doing. Don't allow your mind to play tricks on you. Overthinking and worrying is one of the biggest causes of unnecessary pain. Let go and embrace the present moment. If you could erase all the mistake of your past, you would also erase all the wisdom of your present. Remember the lesson, not the disappointment. Every time we level up, we have to readjust our boundaries. What was okay? Before no longer works. The people in our lives, our self-care rituals and the environments and situations we engage with most all adjust and meet our new vibrational frequencies in order to be sustained. You are being stressed and tested because you are being prepared to step into an important role. Guard well your thoughts when alone, your words when accompanied. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. Multiverse theory state that there may be multiple or even an infinite number of universe, universes, including the universe we constantly experiencing, that together comprise everything that exists, the, the entire entirety of space-time, matter and energy as well as the physical laws of constant and that describe them. I used to be afraid of losing people until I realized most of them were never really down for me always. Even though my loyalty and love for them ran deep, they couldn't care less. So instead of being afraid of losing them, I fell back and watched them lose me. Growth. Devotion is a tool to dissolve yourself into nothingness and become the very hand of the divine. Universe inside you, mature enough to admit that I have had some toxic traits myself. I treated people bad when I wasn't happy. I've hurt people because I was hurting. Owning up to being the bad guy is one of the hardest thing I have never I have ever had to do. I hate being wrong but I am working on me and being better. I looked for a master my entire life until I realized I am the master that has to master self. Whatever happens to you, don't fall in despair even if all the doors are closed. A secret path will be there for you that no one knows. You can't see it yet, but so many paradises are at the end of this path. Be grateful. It is easy to thank after obtaining what you want. Thank before having what you want. Ego trap. We often think those of lower frequencies drain us and we blame them. 
feeling victimized but being drained of energy is symptom of being closed off to source if we remain open to the flow of source we overflow remaining open and recharged is our responsibilities not theirs victim mentality is an extension of ego one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light but by making the darkness conscious trust in dreams or in them is a hidden gate to eternity our capacity to make peace with another person and the world depends very much on our capacity to make peace with ourselves don't tell anyone what you are doing until it's done outside energy can be throw off goals self realization means to realize how foolish you have been everything has been right here within you and you did not get it to me nature is a place where you retreat whenever you feel exhausted or sad i am more happy when i am surrounded by the sound of birds than sound of people a light worker is a soul incarnated on earth with the sole purpose of healing the planet healing the planet this is achieved by dedi- dedicating themselves to clearing negative energy and healing and helping others to experience a spiritual awakening Detach- detachment is a basic requirement for seeking enlightenment anyone or anything we have attached to has power to manipulate us through we will have freedom to choose the people you meet are either reflection of a repeated cycle or guides towards a new start notice the difference the reward for work well done is the opportunity to do more breath by breath let go of fear expect tension anger regret craving frustration fatigue let go of the need for approval let go of all the judgments and opinions die to all that and fly free soar in the freedom of desirelessness you are exactly where you need to be right now even if right now includes hardships keep your head up and observe the lessons are fueled to your growth always speak and think kindly about yourselves because your soul needs your love and approval most of us have forgotten that we are nature nature is not something separate from us so when we say that we have lost our connecting lost our connection to nature it means that we have lost our connection to ourselves what comes naturally to you is what you have practiced over many lifetimes it's rare that we take the time to really look at things closely to see what's right in front of us every time you are tempted to react in the same old way ask if you want to be prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future nothing more dangerous than a person who healed himself with the help of nobody if you can rise up from the seat they left you in there's no <coughs> there who can tell you sit speaking from experience that's the truth growth is painful change is painful but nothing is painful as staying the same the awakening process can be dark and lonely just know you are blessed to have eyes on a blinded world trauma destroys people relationship with time because the loss of continuity means the absolute inability to imagine a future anymore you learn a lot about people when they don't get what they want from you there comes a time when the world gets quiet and the only thing left is your own heart so you'd better learn the sound of it otherwise you will never understand what it's saying know that whatever you believe to be true about anything will eventually be made real this is power of thought you gain more by letting go than holding on as ironic as it may sound 
if the brain is the radio's receiver then the heart is the dial tuning the radio to the frequency of your choice sometimes you have to cut ties with people who aren't good for you the love isn't lost but the communication isn't healthy move on a single event can awaken within us a stranger totally all the barriers all the guard rails collapse nihilated nihilated by the consciousness of freedom i do not have nor can i have recourse to any value i have to realize the meaning of the world of my essence i make my decisions without concerning them without justification and without excuses one day someone will look at you the same way you look at the stars please do not wait for science to give you permission to do the supernatural let's go out and do it and let the science come and study you the greatest technology hidden from you is your own consciousness the universe has no fixed agenda once you make any decision it works around that decision there is no right or wrong only a series of possibilities that shift with each thought feeling and action that you experience when someone is awful to you remember the level of pain someone has to be in to commit that commit an act of unkindness i genuinely have compassion and sympathy for many that attack me much most you are seriously have no idea what people are dealing with in their personal life so be nice it's that simple the cells of your body aren't old they keep regenerating they are new your body has potential of being as young as vital as it has ever been you see you don't have old cells you just have an old attitude about your new self in a crystal we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle and through and though we cannot understand the life of a crystal it is nonetheless a living being when our beliefs are based on our own direct experience of reality and not on notion offered by others no one can remove these beliefs from us it's good to remember often every day that you are not a physical creature in a physical universe but a non physical consciousness vibrating at a certain frequency your consciousness having a state of being that's it everything else you perceive is simply an illusory crystallization of your chosen vibration you are the creator of your life in this way all birds find shelter during a rain but eagle avoids rain by flying above the clouds problems are common but attitude makes the differences you are born a hero and you will die a hero everything which happens in between in your journey to create experience and enjoy if you expect the world to be fair with you because you are fair you are fooling yourself that's like expecting the lion not to eat you because you are didn't eat him this is the real secret of life to be completely engaged with what you are doing and instead of calling it work realize it is play when you stand up in front of the whole world unafraid to express your truth you clear an easier path for others to do the same with patient driving boundlessness might journeying into an endless night trudge trudges a warrior carrying a light with impossible possibilities in sight like waves hurting through the vastness and wind blowing into the nothingness like time flowing into the endlessness discover himself aims in purposelessness a warrior wrote it the most incredible thing is that you can knew everything you wish to know with your eyes closed 
बट आई नो इज दिस वेन वन हंगर फॉर लाइट इट इज ओनली बिकॉज वंस नॉलेज ऑफ द डार्क इज सो डीप वन डे यू विल टेल यू योर स्टोरी ऑफ यू हैव ओवरकम वट यू आर गोइंग थ्रू नाउ एंड इट विल बिकम पार्ट ऑफ सम वन एल्स सर्वाइवल गाइड I don't trust words I trust vibes people can tell you anything but a vibe tells you everything when you want something that you believe it feels good but when you have a desire that you doubt then that desire doesn't feel good because the vibrational content for your desire and the vibrational content of your belief does not match Neg- negative emotion is simply present when you are thinking in opposition to your own desire there will come time when you will lose everything including your mind once you have lost your mind you will be left with nothing but your soul this is when you will know you are invincible i have been searching for years for the ideal place and i have come to the realization that the only way to find it is to be it our prime purpose in this life is to help others and if you can't help them at least don't hurt them luck plays no part in the divinity of the moment that is set to transpire and make two unit into one burning flame of eternal love love is a silence a joy and a peace a blissfulness between two persons meditation is the same experience of silence and peace and bliss but alone but if two meditators are in love then things come to highest peak everyone can make judgment but those who have developed the urge to grow should stop judging others the mind is an accumulation of the past once you transcend the mind the past has no more power over you flow Neg- navigating what you can control with discipline and what you cannot with surrender to find peace if you are quiet enough you will hear the flow of the universe running through you meditation allow you to emerge with the with this energy quiet your mind and allow the flow to happen when i try to keep my identity i lose myself anywhere i go when i become empty i find myself everywhere do not compare do not measure do not measure no other way is like yours all other way deceives and tempt you you must you must fulfill the way that is in you if you learn to lead your life strategically and strongly you can overcome the opposition but running away you never overcome anything the pathway to enlightenment is for the warrior the samurai love is the undisturbed balance that binds this universe together the greatest religion is to be true to your own nature have faith in universe if you want to become full let yourself be empty if you want to be reborn let yourself die if you want to be given everything give everything up being a seeker means no matter what the weather said what krishna or shiva said you have to know the truth in your own experience the universe only has three answer yes not right now i have something better for you as soon as you find a matured partner you will realize that there was nothing wrong with you peace is natural to you it is your very being you disturbed it by ambition you disturbed it by greed you disturbed it by anger you disturbed it by violence it is already there but you have disturbed it we are all artists in this life and our greatest goal is to create from the space within our soul within our soul it is beautiful to be alone it is also beautiful to be in love to be with 
people and they are complementary and not contradictory love is not a relationship love is a state of being it has nothing to do with anybody else one is not in love one is love and of course when one is love one is in love but that is an outcome a by product that is not the source the source is that one is love your own soul is your guru quiet the mind and listen to your higher self no matter what your current circumstances are if you can imagine something better for yourself you can create it whatever purifies you is the correct road but don't sit and wait get out there and feel life if you want to know whether you are moving forward in life just see if you are a little more joyful today than you were yesterday look with the eyes of love and the whole existence becomes beautiful look with hate and everything becomes ugly if you suffer it is because of you if you feel blissful it is because of you nobody is nobody else is responsible only you and you alone you are your hell and your heaven too the person you are becoming will cost you people relationship space and material things choose yourself over anything if you are not capable of being alone your relationship is false it is just a trick to avoid your loneliness nothing else when you hear or read anything of a spiritual nature that moves you or touches your soul you are not learning something you are not learning something you are remembering what you have always known we are all a little weird and lives a little weird and when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love love is not when someone tries to fix you love is when someone helps you see the beauty of what you are desperately trying to fix when the days look dull and the nights get gloomy when the path feel long and the mind gets stormy look within and you shall find infinite power to move with force and stand tall to the mighty tower the human soul desires a reconnection with the spirit world the stronger you create the spiritual connection to a desire the more powerful will be your manifesting ability the biggest lesson i learned this year is not to force anything conversation friendships relationship attention love anything forced is just not worth fighting for whatever flows flows what crosses crosses it is what it is don't be don't be handcuffed by bad habits when you hold the key to unlock the greatness inside of you don't be pushed around by the fears of your mind be led by the dreams in your heart trust your infinite potential be patient the sky is not the limit your mind is limit oh, check yourself sometimes you are the toxic person sometimes you are the pers- you are the mean negative person you are looking to push away sometimes the problem is you and that doesn't make you less worthy keep on growing keep on checking yourself keep on motivating yourself mistakes are opportunities look at them own them grow from them and move on do better do better do better be better you are human it's okay rules to kick ass in life know that you are only competition is who you were yesterday earn save and invest before you spend avoid negative people life is too short if you don't go after what you want you will never get it see failure as beginning not an end our habits decide our future how to listen to your intuition silence your mind through deep mindful breathing ask yourself how do i feel about this decision 
focus on the sensation in your body. Explore whether fear is feeding you. Ask for further guidance in your prayer. 15 way to keep relationship working. I am still surprised that I wrote it. And still I failed to hold my relationship. Love each other, don't lie, keep communication open, stay sweet. When you get hurt, just forgive and forget. Never talk about breakups, never say it's okay when it's not. Learn to put your ego aside. If you say sorry, mean it. Don't compare your past with your present. Don't talk about your excess. Give and take process. Be aware of her feelings. When you had a fight, don't let the day pass. <sighs> I think the best thing I ever did in my adult life was start digging deep and asking myself why I am the way I am and do things the way I do. It takes a ton of work and intentionality, but getting to know yourself on a deeper level will help you thrive. The reason old souls enjoy spending time alone is because they are never really old. What fascinates me is that hardly anyone is wondering what we are doing on this planet. Most people have expect, accepted the work, eat, entertainment, sleep cycle and have no desire to have a deeper understanding of life. I am going through a lot but I am going through it. I am handling it. I am being my own hero, even I am very scared, tired hero, and I am going to be fine. Don't disturb my peace. If you aren't ready for me, I am a whole blessing, not someone damn fling. I think the sign of true soulmate is in someone you just want to do the super cool stuff with. A real soulmate is the person who makes any ordinary day fun. Some people make all these huge plans to do with their special someone. Forget that. Find someone who you can take grocery shopping and still have a blast with. Find someone who makes you look forward to waking up on Monday. Sometimes it feels better not to talk at all about anything to anyone. Don't worry if you make waves simply by being yourself the moon does it all the times my personality attract people scares them away and makes them want to come back later <laughs> be brave enough to fail at something new you have to lose your human mind to gain your spiritual senses find people who can talk about the universe souls and consciousness when your intention are pure, you don't lose anyone, they lose you. The ego seeks to divide as separate. Spirit seeks to unify and heal. Tantra is the ancient empirical philosophy and science of liberating energy in order to expand consciousness and realize one's inherent spiritual power. Flow will get you into rooms that forcing never could. The more real you get, the more unreal the worlds get. How hurtful it can be to deny one's true self and live a life of lies just to appease others. The universe doesn't speak English, it speaks frequency. <sighs> Finally, it's the last. Oh. Books can be dangerous. The best one should be leveled. This could change your life. Don't underestimate the healing power of these three things. Music, the ocean, stars. The human body is a self-regulating organism, meaning it's programmed to heal itself. Peels only mask and suppress symptoms. The cure lies within you. Being awake isn't cool. It means having to dumb down 98% of your conversation every day. So you don't sound like 
a lunatic i don't vibe with many but when i do it's genuine you desire to balance between what feels right and what makes sense you value logic but you also value the language of your soul and the feeling that come from your gut the dancer and the dance cannot be separated so also the creator and her creation cannot be separated he who has the power of turning all negative vibes in his path into positive energy has learned the meaning of life never trust a man who tries to destroy you when he is mad that's weak oh <sighs> so finally it's finished finally khatam ho gaya too much of spiritual knowledge and too much of motivation too much of knowing yourself knowing new ideas too much <laughs> this is too much thank you for watching